Wow. Ow. Sorry. It's fast. Like, this is an awesome paddle. You okay? I'm here with the Master Athletics P2 paddle. Have you heard of Master Athletics? They are the number one platform tennis paddle company. And really cool constructed paddle. So it's edgeless. And then there's a weighting system on the sides of the paddle. And Chris and I always talk about how come there hasn't been a manufacturer who lets you adjust your paddle like your golf driver. And that's exactly what this is. So I have it set on standard right now. And I'm really excited to try this out. Here we go. First ball with a Master Athletic P2 paddle. Kind of like the gearbox. My OG. Good maneuverability. Oh, I like it. Ah. Nice reset. Oh yeah, easy to reset. My favorite, do nothing reset. Perfect. Oh yeah. I know I'm missing the thirds in the net, but they're, they're spinning, they're trying to go. I know I can swing a little bit more versus sometimes with like the carbon or the batic I can get, or the Yola Solaire, I can get a little like face climb. Yeah, and this I'm not seeing that like sprint up off the face. Again, keeping that really nice low trajectory, not climbing. Like, go ahead and try and get through me. Nice. Yeah. Now, this is, I think this is the nicest paddle I've tried today for um, resets and control, as I missed the reset in the net. But that's how controlled it is. That's how controlled it is. So here's their P1 with no adjustable weights on the side, so it's thinner. The thing this reminds me of the most is my first gearbox where I could get like crazy angles. Well, you know I love that thin profile, always. <laughs> Kristen's getting feisty. <laughs> yeah, remember who your mommy is. <laughs> Ultra maneuverable is the word that I would use to describe this paddle. Or is that two words we'll never know? Talking and resetting is not working, but if I just shut my mouth, there we go. See, I just have to stop talking. Wow. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Wow, if you hit naturally a pretty flat ball, this is a sick paddle for you. Yeah, it's so maneuverable. It's like so maneuverable that it's in the position that I want it to be in, but a, like a quarter of a second earlier. So like I just angled it crazy because it got there so so fast. But like when I played the Simone Yola paddle, I felt like I had no power on that paddle. So this feels light, but I'm not losing power. Wow. Ow. Sorry. It's fast. Like this is an awesome paddle. And it somehow keeps that trajectory crazy low. So if we're gonna hit a flat ball, it's just gonna keep really, really, really flat. And again, I really like the reset. I would say this Master Athletics P1 yeah. paddle, if you have wrist pain, you should use this paddle. It's light with no sacrifice of power. It feels like the sweet spot's really, really big. And it is literally the most maneuverable paddle <laughs> I've ever played. Yeah, like I do actually have wrist problems and wrist pain and my hand feels really good with this. It's like this tiny little powerful thing that is like fun. It feels like a wand. It's the most like wand feeling paddle I've ever played with. All right, last Master Athletics paddle, the P2XL and XL is exactly what this is. This is the longest paddle I have ever seen in my life, which is great because I hit basically all of my shots on the toe of my paddle. <laughs> so if someone were to build like a dream paddle for me, it would probably look like this. This is wild. This is so long. Yeah, I like the swing weight. There's something where it can help get through the ball. Like the weighting maybe is a little bit more towards the head of the paddle. So when I go to hit it, it's like it's got this force helping it, this mass behind it. This 
that this one definitely hits the hardest, at least for me. It also feels the heaviest. Whoa, that's like a different bullet. So long and there's something in the weighting of it that right when you're gonna make contact, it's like the head snaps into the ball and gives it a little extra something. It does feel a lot like, like the Groovin paddle I like so much where it's like, and that's what's so fun about also doing these reviews is every paddle's unique. I feel like we're in the era of snowboarding when snowboarding was getting popular with so much innovation, all these manufacturers, every single week, something new. And it's so fun to find companies new and emerging like Master Athletics, even though they've been around for a while. And here they are now in pickleball, taking their technology, putting it into pickleball paddles and creating really cool stuff. And I actually think we should play around with the weighting systems, maybe in a future video to see how that affects the paddle. Okay, but the real question is, how does it do on a third shot lock?